Um, Peter Maybarduk, um, explain exactly what has happened here. Explain what the price increase was and how people are organizing now. What is Heather Bresch explaining here? Well, the drug companies want to point fingers at the insurers, and the insurers want to point fingers at the drug companies, but it's all convoluted mechanisms to avoid plain talk about price. This is a 100-year-old drug and a 40-year-old uh, injection technology that was invented in connection with Department of Defense projects, meaning that taxpayers already paid for a considerable amount of the research associated with this, uh, with this product. It hit the market when Mylon acquired the rights. <clears throat> the product cost $100. Now it's up to $600. The increases in EpiPen prices have more or less tracked the increases in uh, the Mylon CEO's pay, uh, executive compensation, uh, over that period of time. There haven't been significant improvements to that product, as was mentioned in the time. So we're not paying for, uh, we're not paying for innovation. We're paying for price gouging. We're paying for Mylon's shameful greed. And today, Public Citizen will deliver, I think the number is uh, increasing closer to one million signatures, hopefully, if you help us out, uh, to uh, Mylon's corporate headquarters outside Pitts Pittsburgh, demanding that that price be reduced. In other words, we can talk. Mylon wants to talk about coupons and patient assistance programs and this new, absolutely bizarre move of introducing a generic uh, version of its essentially generic own product. Uh, and. Uh, but what the one thing it won't do, the one thing Mylon refuses to do, is have plain talk about price and just reduce the price. That would be the simplest, most effective thing to do to ensure that everyone who needs an EpiPen can get one and that the cost burden that we all share paying into our health care system is reduced. Can you explain that further, what they have done, as opposed to just reducing the price? Well, yesterday, Mylon announced that it was going to introduce what it called a generic uh, EpiPen. Now, this is a little strange, as the drug is, isn't patented, and it's not patents that are keeping competitors primarily uh, off the market. What they mean is they'll have—they've built a big brand reputation through very aggressive marketing around EpiPen, and they intend to retain a premium market wherein they can sell for the $600 for the branded EpiPen. But at the same time, they're going to introduce an identical product doing the exact same thing in the exact same way, no differences between the product, except it won't have the EpiPen brand. And they're going to sell that for $300. And that's their solution, uh, so-called, to uh, the criticism, rather than simply reducing the price of the EpiPen in the first place down to a more reasonable level, say $100, which is still a very profitable price. It's the price that many other wealthy countries pay and was the price at which the product hit the market a decade ago. Mm -hmm. They're also talking about coupons um, that people can get. Can you explain what that is? Well, so if, if a patient figures out, out how to use the coupon, they can, uh, they can reduce their, their copay at the pharmacy. And, and Mylon says it's going to enroll more people in patient assistance programs to reduce the uh, price, in theory, that uh, consumers are, are paying at the counter. But not everyone will use the, progr the programs, and it doesn't do anything. Those methods don't do anything to reduce the cost that we're all paying into the system for the $600 uh, EpiPen. If you don't have insurance or if you have a, a high copay, you still may wind up paying very high prices for these EpiPens. Mylan did find one prominent defender, <clears throat> Martin Shkreli. Last week, you might remember, the former hedge fund manager sparked national outrage after he hiked the price of a life-saving drug <clears throat> by more than 5,000 percent. Prosecutors also accused Martin Shkreli of orchestrating a Ponzi-like scheme at his former hedge fund and his startup drug company, Turing Pharmaceuticals. Well, Shkreli is back in the news, weighing in on the EpiPen controversy. Um, here he's speaking to CBS Minnesota local station WCCO. It's a good guy. Uh, they have one product where they're finally starting to make a little bit of money, and everyone's going crazy over it. These are life-saving drugs. People don't have a choice whether they can buy them or not. Yeah, well, that's up to insurance to pay for them. Like I said, it's $300 a pen. $300. My iPhone's $700. Okay, so but you don't a, need an iPhone to exist. Yeah, that doesn't matter, though, because it's $300, and 90 percent of Americans are insured. Last week, Martin Shkreli tweeted, with 8 percent margins, Mylan is close to breaking even. Do we want them to lose money? Sole supplier of a life-saving drug should have a better margin. Uh, Shkreli later tweeted, quote, Mylan 
9 percent net margin life-saving drugs, Viacom 15 percent reality TV, Altria cigarettes 21 percent. Your response to this, uh, Peter? Well, Mylon's primary contribution to this product is simply aggressive marketing. They're, they're not the ones who really invented the technology uh, behind this, and any investments uh, made in the in the chain are, are long since expired. And this is a price that keeps going up without justification. Mylon is taking advantage of uh, their monopolistic position in the in the market, and that's the broader that's the systemic problem that we all face. It's the number one reason that drug prices are so high in the United States is that we have uh, government-granted monopolies in many areas, de facto monopolies, or, or individuals like Shkreli and, and companies like Mylon that have figured out how to corner a market, and they charge as much as, our, as we and our health system collectively will pay to care for our, care for our loved ones. And that's the business model, right? So, it's profit maximizing. So what exactly are you doing today? So today, uh, Public Citizen is going to deliver a petition uh, to Mylon uh, corporate headquarters demanding that Mylon simply cut the price, cut the obfuscation, cut the convoluted talk about all these alternative mechanisms, and simply cut the price of EpiPen so that we can all afford it and our, our health care bills ultimately go down. Well, I want to thank you very much for being with us, Peter Maybarduk, director of Public Citizen's Global Access to Medicines program. And thanks so much to Ashley Altman, who runs the website smashleyashley.com, where she's just posted an open letter, one mother to another, to Mylan's CEO, Heather Bresch. Uh, Ashley Altman is a contributor to The Huffington Post and several parenting blogs, including scarymommy.com. This is